everyone what's going on welcome back to the channel today we are finally going back under the car so we can finish up a few things let me show you a bag of goodies that we got for today yep this is part two of the oil field uh, oil filter relocation um, you can go back at, earlier in the series and the engine prep to see uh, part one. This is the part where the filter actually goes. We're going to be relocating this further under the sump, but not so far away from the block. So there's not a lot of travel, but I, as you can see, I did upgrade uh, the ports. So these came with MPT fittings, but they were very small um flow so i upgraded to um an 10 fittings anyways yeah so these are really nice pieces i got them from uh treadstone performance uh in the link uh link to the description and the video below uh is uh their website and if you're here local in south florida you might want to check them out um like uh south day they have their store you can walk in pretty big area nice um bunch of turbos and pipings and stuff uh they have a really nice yellow s2000 in there uh looks pretty pretty dope but anyways um go check out their description uh yeah an 10 i did a little bit of reading and in the chat i was advised to use uh these if i were to do a oil filter relocation but not only did I get the fittings as well. These I made them myself. I mean, uh, I bought the lines and the fittings at Treadstone Performances as well. I had to buy these and I made them here myself. The easiest way to go about this is, um, the easiest way to go about this is if you have a vice grip, like one of the table vice grips, um, cause these get threaded in the, the fittings are two pieces. So once you get this part on the hose, you would want to kind of put like a cardboard or something in between and then vice grip it tight. So it doesn't move cause it is pretty hard to get in. But once you get it in, like there's no leaking. I did get a little bit of, uh, electrical tape on the edge to kind of secure it and on the rim because these are uh, steel braided, so they have they flare out. You have to make sure that you have something that cuts metal and cut it nice and flush and clean. That way it sits in the lip that's inside here, and that way you're, you'll be able to put a little, uh, like one round of electrical tape. Uh, these fittings, they have like a lip, an inner lip, so it actually stops the holes from over going up. And then that way you can, uh, and it's it's threaded on the inside before, uh, after the lip so that you can thread the port inside. And as you're threading it in, uh, it's actually going into the hose and it's, um, there you have it. And you just screw it on to wherever it's going to go. So really nice. Check out their store. So the last thing we have to do is, uh, is um find out exactly where we're gonna put the filter i have these last two fittings uh these are gonna go on the piece that's on the block just use some uh gasket gasket maker just put a dab onto where it's going just to make it just to make sure it seals well and it's nice and 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 sturdy so it, uh preventing it from backing out and you know prevent leaks uh it shouldn't leak because this is the perfect size i've already test fitted it but you never know without further ado let's go into the car i'm looking for the light oh there it is okay we're gonna go down there now all right so we're under the car and as you guys noticed um, for those who haven't been uh following along i already got the block into the engine so um this is the front of the car, one of the little pop-up headlights. Uh, so down here, this is the right side um, motor mount, right there where the oil filter would go. 
there is where we're going to be upgrading to the AN10 fittings. Um, this piece has an in and out. You have to be careful because uh, you don't want to mix up the lines and the ports. Sorry. That should be good enough, actually, right there. You don't want to mix up the lines with the ports because remember, one is leading into the filter and, and then the other one's leading back into the block, which is the that's already the clean filtered oil going back into the block. What comes out um might have some debris or or stuff like that, and that's what that's what the oil filter basically is for. Alright, I got it. So uh this bottom one is the in, so the oil is gonna go back into the block and this is the out port so the oil comes out from here and into the filter and then after it's filtered and all that stuff it goes out of the filter back in so in and out of a hassle um i would have installed those ports while it was still out of the car had i had them but i didn't buy them until after i dropped in the car um dropped in the car after i dropped in the engine so suggestion if you're gonna do this uh, relocation and you're gonna upgrade to an uh, lines and fittings i suggest that you do this I mean, like, put all the fittings, ports, and everything, get them all sorted before you drop in the engine. That's if you're working on your engine outside of the car, because it could prove to be a little bit of a challenge. But anyways, some of it you might know, but yeah, here it is. Uh, I got it in finally. Now... guys so a little bit of an update on what's going on i actually had to stop recording that night because um the way i had this set up was i had one of these on the other side and when i took all of the plugs out um i saw that the ins and outs of the filter i could have just had all the ports on one side um i was just a little bit confused because i've never had one of these before but that same night i wasn't able to do anything because these plugs which were provided in the cool tech kit these use a hex nine millimeter 
which um, there's a lot of um, like where I buy my tools at Harbor Freight, it brought every single hex but nine and I couldn't find nine in the store. So I had to special order it online. Not really special order it, but I had to specifically look for a, a, a nine millimeter just so I can loosen these. Um, but yeah, what had happened was I had one of these here and one of these plugs there. So I had to redo everything and plug one side and just utilize one side. And this is the side I'm gonna use because it's gonna end up being on the rack like this. And the lines are gonna be going into the block like this. So, um, it's just better that it sits this way. So I had to fix that, but that's fine. And the reason I have tape here is because since I'm sitting it on the rack, these holes are a little bit small. So I did have to drill, uh, this hole a little bit bigger so that, um, so that the bolt will fit. Uh, keep in mind that's what you might have to do if you're going to relocate it somewhere where a bolt is a little bit bigger, but it's fine. All you have to do is make sure that everything is nice and plugged and sealed, that you have some sort of filter there, or even a use filter is fine just to cover cover it from having any metal shavings, but, um, and then put tape on these ports and drill away and just make sure that you clean it well with uh, mineral spirits or even uh, some, I, um, some isopropyl alcohol should be fine. So then it should be sitting something like this onto the rack. And let's go ahead and install, finish installing this. Finally, um, it's done. Let's check it out. Let's see how it came up. So here is the end product. See what I meant by how like, I'd have to like have it on, on this position in order for it to actually work. Like the rack's gonna be sitting here and stuff like that. So um, that should do it. And then you should see up there, you have to make sure that you got the right ports in and out. But that's basically the setup, um, and that should do it for the filter.